This is an example one of chapter seven permeability, and this is a constant head test example. And for this example, we are given the geometry of the specimen, the lens, the cross-sectional area, and we also know the head loss 50 centimeter. So that's H. And the water collected in a period of five minutes is 350 centimeter cube. Okay. And we also know the water temperature. And we're going to determine the hydraulic conductivity of the soil at 20 degrees C. Okay. So first we're going to calculate this K at the testing temperature, uh, this water temperature of 24 degrees C. Okay. And to do that, so for this example, we know the water collected in five minutes. So that's basically our capital Q. That's the total volume of the water. That is time rate small Q. That's the uh, flow rate times T. And by Darcy's law, this equals to hydraulic conductivity K times hydraulic gradient I times cross-sectional area times T. Okay. And then this uh, um, I, hydraulic gradient I, is head loss over the corresponding distance L. Okay, so H over L. So if you substitute everything you have, capital Q equals to K times H over L times A times T. Okay. And then you can calculate the hydraulic conductivity at 24 degrees C. So that's K equals to Q L over A H times T. Okay. So now substitute all these numbers. So Q is 350. That's centimeter cube times L is 30. And then divide it by cross-sectional area A, 177, times H is 50, all in centimeter, times T is 5 minutes. Okay. So that's that gives you centimeter per minute. And if we want to convert this to centimeter per second, so we need to divide this by 60. Okay. So this last number, 60, so this is from basically minute to second okay. to convert unit. And if you uh, work out all these numbers, so this is K that is at 24 degrees C. Okay. So this is at 24 degrees C. And this is 3.95 times 10 to negative 3 centimeter per second. Okay. And once we have this hydraulic conductivity at 24 degrees C, then we can calculate K at 20 degrees C. Okay. And this equals to K of 24 degrees C times the ratio of viscosity of water at 24. So eta 24 C over eta at 20 degrees C. And this ratio here is 20 eta of 24 over 20. So this is from table 7.2. Okay. So this table 7.2, if you look at this slide here, so this is a table 7.2. And this gives you the variation of eta t over eta 20 for various t's. Okay. So our temperature is 24. Okay. So this ratio is 0.910. Okay. So then this k at 20 degree is 3.95 times 10 to negative 3 times 0.91. Okay. And we get the final hydraulic conductivity at 20 degrees C, which is 3.59 times 10 to negative 3. The unit is centimeter per second. Okay. So that is the first example, a constant head test.